right, hey, what is going on guys? Gage Grizzly here and we are back with another New World video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a very general DPS guide for new and returning players. Now, like I said, it's going to be a general guide because there's a lot of weapon combinations and you'll see a more specific guide and build outlook when I release my expedition POVs uh, for DPS. So you guys will see more of that then. But today I'm just going to give you an overview on a DPS build and some weapons that have good combinations with each other to output some awesome damage. All right, guys, to start today's video off, I want to start by talking about trophies. So if you can afford them, they're pretty expensive. Major trophies are going to be the best. And for whatever expedition you're running, say you're running Genesis, right? You're going to want Angry Earth uh, trophies. This is going to be vital for DPS because if you don't have trophies in every single house, you're going to be losing out on a ton of damage. Uh, so you're going to need three houses. I have a house in Everfall, in Windsward, and Brightwood. That's where usually the best buffs are. Uh, but you're going to want to put a trophy in each house. Now, the major trophies, like I said, pretty expensive. Uh, so if you don't have a lot of gold and if you come to my server in Eldorado and you need just the basic trophies, I will buy them for you uh, because they're pretty cheap. Uh, so if we go here to buffing trophies and we go to combat buffs, um, we're going to look at, say, a basic ancients trophy. So say you're running Laz. Um, I think that's the cheapest. Yeah, so... Uh, almost 1600 not bad for a single trophy that's going to give you four percent the majors are five percent so unless you're really min maxing you don't need the majors uh but i just have a ton of gold to spend so i have all the major trophies um but four percent that's going to give you 12 percent overall damage once you put one in each house i'm going to have 15 percent again three percent is not going to make the biggest difference in the world you don't need the major trophies uh, but definitely go ahead and buy yourself the basic trophies uh, for each type of mob so you know there's corrupted ancients um angry earth all that good stuff make sure to have one in every single house that's going to give you a ton of damage it's important for every single class but it's vital for dps to having fast runs all right guys so real quick let's go over those two weapon combinations that i really like and that also give a lot of dps so we're going to be looking at the spear and great axe where the great axe ends up being a utility weapon uh, for grouping mobs up and the spear ends up being your main dps weapon another good combination is the spear and the hatchet that's going to give you the maximum damage output and ends up being one of the best dps combinations in the entire game but if you want to look at more of a simplistic standpoint start with the great axe and the spear for a lot of extra damage all right, guys, let's go over the weapon builds. Uh, I'm just going to leave this for you guys to look at, and I'm going to go through each one. So this one is for the spear, and I'm just going to kind of go over it real quick. Uh, so this ability here is going to be great because based on your gear, uh, you're going to be weakening the enemy. Uh, so it's great for boss fights, uh, and also it's good for clumped up mobs because you can kind of hit multiple enemies at the same time. Uh, so this perk right here, you definitely want to have um, and I'll go over the gear here in a little bit. Um, another perk that's really good is this one right here because it pairs well with the Great Axe. But let's get back to the spear real quick. Uh, this is the main build for the spear. Uh, this skill right here is going to give you a lot of fortify when it comes to this skill on your weapon. So I highly recommend having this specific skill on your weapon because it's going to give you um, maximum fortify uh, and get you really close to that cap. I guess this is my great axe build uh it focuses like i said on a lot of grouping uh the mobs up so you can take them out with your spear so uh this uh talent tree right here does a really good job of that uh, and you'll be able to really just group them up and take them out with the spear and then also guys here's my hatchet uh the hatchet focuses a lot on single target dps uh but this passive right here uh combined with all the other passives and abilities through the hatchet tree uh, ends up being one of the best passives for group killing uh, and it works really really well all right guys so first we're going to start with my uh, consumables i usually run a ward potion as my first one uh, and then i'll run a health pot common regen potions and then the hearty meal hearty meal and common regen potions you can kind of pop whenever you get into a fight uh, and then the health pots you pop as needed and then the ward potion same thing uh, if you think you're gonna you know take a lot of damage from a big clump those are really good too I'm getting better guys I'm learning from my last video so taking the face cam off real quick to explain uh, my accessories here they're going to be the same ones as my tank video 
Uh, so let's start with this one. I believe this one you get from Garden of Genesis. I will leave the link for New World Database so you guys can look and verify for yourselves. Um, this one's going to be from Lazarus, uh, super easy to get. And then this one is going to be one of the hardest ones to get. It's from the second boss in Mutated Depths. I don't expect you guys to get this one. It's pretty difficult, uh, but it is going to be the best one. Uh, to replace this, I would just get one uh, that has Divine and Health and then Strength. So get one that has that and you guys will be perfectly fine. All right, guys, when it comes to your gear, like I said in the tank video and the heal video, you want to focus on getting your perks first. Now, the two best perks... Uh, when it comes to DPS with these specific weapons is this perk right here. So when you use that ability, it's going to weaken the enemy. And then for big clumps, I use uh, this perk on the Great Axe uh, because like I said, it the enemies will do less damage to your team. So that's fantastic. It helps you, helps your team. Great uh, synergy there. And then after that, you want to focus on getting the uh, ward gear for whatever um, expedition you're doing. So like a corrupted set right here. I have corrupted on every piece except this one because of the perk. I need the perk. I think the perk definitely outweighs having 5% uh, ward. Uh, and it is blue piece. Some people have gave me crap about this. It really doesn't matter. It's the same as a purple if it had two perks. Uh, it's just a blue piece. So it's 625. It does the same thing. I just haven't found one with ward on it. So uh, no point in having a, a second perk there. Uh, and then uh, sh shirking energy is nice. I, I take that sometimes, like I said. So this is the same as a blue piece if it didn't have resilient, right? So same deal. And then again, I just uh, running ward after I get my perks. So typically you don't want to do a half split like this, uh, but when you're running the spear, you want to split it up. And when it comes to, you know, comfortability, this is going to give you the most damage output while also giving you some comfortability with your HP. And when you bring your fortify up and you know you're you're using that perforate to get the fortify, which is uh, on this skill right here, or excuse me, this perk, uh, you're going to get a lot of fortify and you just you're, you're going to have a lot of comfortability with your um, HP. So I go all the way to 100 con, and I'll show you guys. Uh, since I take the split, I eat this food right here. Uh, it's going to give me a split between Dex and Con. So it's going to bring me up to 100 Con. And then I have 208 Dex, 207 Strength. Now, if you're like a speedrunner or something, you'd want to run 300 Dex, 200 Strength. That's going to give you a lot of uh, DPS output. We take uh, 200 Dex mainly for um, all these little uh, passives. And then same thing, we take uh, 200 Strength for the uh, passives here. Uh, we take a little bit more on dex uh, because the spear mainly scales with dex and like i said you're taking 100 con because it's comfortability it's nice you're still going to output a ton of damage probably mo more than uh, any other person on your team when it comes to the hatchet i honestly do the same thing uh, i do a split like this but honestly you can just do it however you like but i think this is going to be one of the best ways to run it for dps so one thing I want to mention for DPS, you definitely want to have Bane on your uh, weapons. So whatever weapons you're running, you want to have Bane. A little trick sometimes I do is I actually run this Great Axe here and it has Keenly Empowered. Since I use Great Axe a lot as a utility weapon, Keenly Empowered will actually stay when you switch weapons. So I'll activate Keenly Empowered and I'll switch to my spear to get a little bit of extra damage out of my spear since that is my main DPS weapon. All right, guys, one of the last things I want to mention is gems. Uh, so you want to use the correct gems, and I'll leave a link in the description to this website that gives you uh, a nice table for all the weaknesses for all the mob types. So if you're running Corrupted, you want to throw an Arcane Gem in. If you're running um, you know, Lazarus with Ancients, you want to throw an Electric Gem in. Uh, but that, that uh, website will give you a good guide and a good layout on all that information. When it comes to your gear, uh, whatever... Uh, mutation you're running whatever uh, that debuff is for that week uh, you just want to put uh, the gems for that so if it's nature put nature gems uh, if it's fire put fire gems and so forth some people will say that it doesn't do much or it's not worth gemming it is absolutely 1000 percent worth gemming and if you can't afford level five gems go with the level four um, or level three if you really don't have gold it's a hundred percent worth gemming for that mutation uh, because you will you will definitely take a lot less damage um, and the enemies will um, they scale with that damage so if they're like nature enemies 
um, they'll do a lot more damage, nature damage. So you want to uh, use those uh, gems specific to that mutation that week because you'll definitely take a lot less damage. All right, guys, so real quick, we're going to go with a basic rotation here. Uh, so when it comes to using the uh, Great Axe, you want to clump a bunch of enemies up here. I'm going to show you how the Great Axe is used. So I'm going to bring them all to this musket right here. Hopefully they all come. So you're just going to grab well everything, right? And then you're going to skewer, you're going to preparate, get your fortify up, and then you're going to sweep. And then you're just going to repeat that. And look at that damage. Look at that survivability. Look at that grouping. Super, super nice. And so when you're using the spear, you want to dodge after you use an ability because one of the passives on it is going to give you a lot of cooldown. And guys, I don't even have much buffs on. Like, this is super, super easy. Like I said, with that preparate and that constitution, you're getting a lot of comfortability here while also uh, getting a lot of damage. You're really not sacrificing that much damage. There you go, guys. That's how you use those rotations there. So the reason you open up with Skewer is because you're going to weaken the enemy because you have that perk on uh, one of your pieces. And then you're going to use Preferate, uh, which is this ability right here, which is going to give you Fortify um, based on each enemy you hit. And it's a lot of extra damage absorption, guys. I highly recommend you guys use it. It's going to make you feel tanky even though you're running in light armor. That's a, another thing I want to mention. Um, don't run heavy. It's going to give you bad habits of just taking a lot of damage. You want to dodge, um, especially running the spear with the passive. You know, after using the ability, it gives you some cooldown. Uh, start with medium if you guys aren't super comfortable running DPS. Um, you're going to be super tanky, especially with the, uh, the way I have this build set up for you. Once you get comfortable, though, go ahead and run light armor. Light armor is going to give you that maximum damage output, and it's going to be the best equipment load to be in for DPS. But if you guys are not comfortable yet, medium is perfectly fine. It's only a 10% damage reduction, uh, so definitely go with that if you guys are not comfortable yet. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching my guide video. If you have any questions, please leave that down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Like I said, there's going to be specifics uh, when I release my expedition runs in my DPS point of view. Uh, it's going to give you a little more tailored uh, focus for that expedition for which weapons I use and all that good stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.